morning. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rachel Collier. We're following a developing story out of West Louisville this morning. Metro police are investigating after the body of a naked woman was found in an alley. We're continuing to follow this developing story in Shively, where an officer has been shot. And uh, he shot. And we're having some problems with the connection there, but Emily Muir has been at the scene. She's gathering more information about what exactly unfolded. It happened around 1130 this morning. An officer shot in Shively. She has some pictures on Twitter where she actually saw a suspect being arrested at the scene. It's unclear what charges that suspect may face at this time, but this is something we'll be following throughout the day and on WDRB.com and throughout this newscast. ATF is there. A lot of police officers, heavy police presence. This right here that you're seeing is an escort following that ambulance, getting that ambulance as fast as possible to University Hospital. They had roadways blocked off this morning to make sure that officer could get treatment. She has a picture actually on her Twitter page showing a, a, a suspect being arrested. It's not clear at this point what charges that person may face. She is still there. She's gathering details. It's obviously hard to get a lot of the information right now because as you can see, all of the officers are focusing on figuring out what happened and making sure that the scene is secure. Welcome back to WDRB News. You are taking a look at Louisville, Elizabethtown, and our drive cam out on Taylorsville Road. We have crews all across Kentuckiana. This is what conditions look like in Elizabethtown right now. A blanket of white and it's coming down. A lot of people staying home. Joining us now on the phone is Andrea Clifford with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. Andrea, good afternoon to you. How are the crews doing out there? Are they running into any problems so far? We are being told right now, <laughs> got to go, got to get behind the tape. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, you can see the cameras going haywire right now because we, we are being told get behind the tape. Rachel. If you're watching the last report, police officers were making us get behind this yellow tape that they just put up. It wasn't a question of wait till your report is over. It was a, a matter of get behind it now. You can see this van right here. Check out the back of it. You can see that there are heavily armed SWAT officers in the back of that van. It looks like they are going closer to the building. You can see inside the ballroom how beautiful, glitzed and glamoured up that it is inside the Galt House for Unbridled Eve. And look, you can mix and mingle with people like Warren Moon, NFL Hall of Famer. Hello, we are in the Thunder Command Center. They have the champagne glasses out. They get to relax and party a little bit after the show is over. They've been working hard all year. I'm here with the Thunder Nader, Patricia Kemper. Hello, you're a newfound celebrity. Oh, that's what they tell me. <laughs> so she won a Kentucky Lottery contest. You have special privileges tonight. Can you talk about what you get to do? I get to start the whole shebang. High temperatures only in the 80s coming up, Rachel. Can't wait for that relief. Thank Thanks, Jeremy. Don't be alarmed by sirens and emergency response teams at IU Southeast. It's only a drill. Several police agencies and fire and rescue teams are on campus today doing an active shooter exercise. Officials say the training is crucial to campus safety. Rick DeLuca lets us know how long to expect the warmer temperatures. Rick, my husband said today's the day he's going to mow the lawn. He's going to mow the lawn? Our grass, all the rain, the grass is just it's, growing. Yeah, yeah, lots and blow something up. <laughs> Every time that thing fired, the guys in the studio, oh! <laughs> I jumped a little bit, too. <laughs> All right, we're going to head back out to the State Fair to check in with Jude Redfield. Jude, is your, is your tongue blue? <laughs> KFC gave away 3,000 bottles of sunscreen that smell like fried chicken. The Yum Brands restaurant is using the sunscreen to promote its extra crispy fried chicken. In June, the company hired actor George Hamilton to act as a tanned and crispy Colonel Sanders. KFC said yesterday it ran out of the sunscreen just a few hours after posting about it on its website. And we have it here. You can smell it even yeah. without oh, opening. You can smell it. Smelled it earlier I, and it's just... I, I put some on this morning. Oh, you did? Just uh. to see what it smelled like. Uh, it's still there. Yeah, not going away. It can't wash it off. Yeah. So just be careful. I like yes. KFC. I grew up on KFC. Hey, you know, like their chicken. But and it does, yeah, it smells like chicken, but I don't know if that's <laughs> what, how you want to smell when you <laughs> no. Somebody said out. they need to have gravy <laughs> chapstick next. He ruled the racetrack. Now American Pharaoh is a stunning stallion with about 150 foals expected to be born in just a few months. We take you to his new home to show you how he's living life as a stud. emerged early. His royalty perhaps predicted. He is indeed the ruler, American Pharaoh, breathtaking in a mesmerizing performance. He 
was the one horse racing had been waiting for, ending a 37-year drought for a Triple Crown winner. Even that wasn't enough for the Pharaoh, who topped it with a Grand Slam finish at the Breeders' Cup to end his racing career. Now, just one year later, it's a different world for American Pharaoh on a 2,000-acre farm in Versailles, Kentucky, where all critters are happy and laid back. The champ in solitude, living a new kind of life. Now that he's retired on the track, he kind of has to prove himself again as a stallion. And he is. Scott Calder with Coolmore America's Ashford Stud says about 150 mares are expecting foals by American Pharaoh. He is an international commodity. Um, you know, a Triple Crown winner means a lot in America, but all, all through the breeding circles all over the world, people paid attention when he, when he won the Triple Crown. Coolmore has 13 stallions on the roster this year. Calder says Pharaoh's $200,000 stud fee is the highest for a first season sire. The demand for American Pharaoh exceeded supply, so to speak. So we did um, t have to turn people away. The Triple Crown champ has taken well to his new career. During the February to June breeding season, he may have taken part in three breeding sessions a day. Because he was so successful, he's been supported with the highest quality mares you can possibly get. So um, we put a lot of emphasis on on the sire, but you know, the, the, the dams and the mares are very important too. Untouched talent, mother of 2012 Derby and Preakness runner-up, Bodie Meister, is expected to have American Pharaoh's first foal due in January. We're kind of expecting her to be one of the first few and um, um, she's here at Ashford, so we'll be uh, monitoring her closely. Here she is grazing with a plump belly. She's the one with the white sock on her back leg. This is her ultrasound. Not only does American Pharaoh's lineage trace back to Secretariat, so does hers. <laughs> Starting in 2019, American Pharaoh foals will be racing each other. And Derby 2020 could see an exciting lineup of his offspring. At some point, they will be competing against each other. Um, certainly it's in his benefit to have a good crop of number of foals on the ground because there's more chances that there'll be a future champion amongst them. Pharaoh's been at Ashford since last November, enjoying royal treatment, relishing in attention from tours, and as always, eager to please, patiently posing his good looks for the camera. He hasn't changed at all since we got off the track. He's just such a, a laid back, easygoing horse. He kind of seemed to take everything um, without any fuss. And just as we had to wait for his historic Triple Crown win, we must now wait, albeit more quietly, to see if greatness will be passed down. To read about the other famous mares that are pregnant by American Pharaoh and check out our slideshow on WDRB.com.